this strawberry is being suspended in the air by a powerful magnet. And that's because strawberries are repelled by magnets, and they're not the only ones. Lemons, apples, clementines. It turns out that everything is a little bit magnetic. Everything. A type of magnetism called diamagnetism. Unlike the magnetic material we're used to, which is attracted to a magnetic field, this category of stuff is repelled from the magnetic field. We're repulsive, but only weakly, which is probably why you haven't noticed it. But if you have a really strong magnet... Then you can get the diamagnetic force strong enough to balance the force of gravity. And you can levitate things like strawberries or water droplets like you see here. So we're getting a weightlessness, a sort of pseudo-weightlessness. And that lets you do experiments like you might do in orbit, but for... A hell of a lot cheaper than flying <laughs> a space rocket. So most recently, Richard Hill looked at fruit flies. Here's the setup. You have a cylinder. Inside it is coiled superconducting wire with 120 amps running through it. This generates a powerful magnetic field, about 16 times stronger than any fridge magnets. And depending on where you are in the magnetic field, the direction of the magnetic force changes. So basically, Hill positioned the flies in the tube to experience 0g, 2g, or double gravity, and then regular gravity. And using a camera stripped of all the metal parts, he filmed what happened. Look, just looking at the videos, you can instantly see the difference in behavior of, the, of the, the flies. There's not much room to fly, so they're just walking on the container they're in. But The flies that are levitated walk around much quicker. It's like, it's like somebody speed, sped the film up. They both walk more quickly and spend more time walking. Whereas in double gravity... They are moving noticeably more slowly. But why you see this difference in speed isn't clear, Hill says. One idea. I mean, it may be that the flies uh, are moving around faster because it's just easier for them to move around in these sort of pseudo-weightless conditions. Similar results were found when this experiment was done on the International Space Station. Hill says the magnetic field doesn't appear to have any other effects on the flies. So this setup is... A tool for looking at how biological organisms alter their behavior in weightlessness. And that's useful if we want to better understand the effects of space travel. As for the next obvious question. There's reasons why you wouldn't want to levitate a person. The problem is that bones and soft tissue have different diamagnetic susceptibilities. You'd end up probably levitating them by the soft tissue of the body, but the bones would actually hang down. Ouch. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.